Hello, one of the awesome Nerdcraft here, bringing you game two out of this best of three series here, spawning on the eastern position of Metalopolis. I have no idea what happened there. I was like, um, what position is this again? Is going to be our blue Terran player, Marine King Prime himself, the king of Marines, the Golden King Foxer, fake boxer. Um, I can't remember some of his other nicknames, but. Oh, the Silver Terran. I made that one up, though. I wanted that to stick. Well, not anymore, because, you know, he's won MLG Arena, so you can't really say he's Silver Terran. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, here, spawning on the northern position is going to be his Red Zerg adversary, Incredible Miracles, very own Losira. So he is definitely stick. He is definitely picking some big, uh, big fights here. Losira, of course, a dominant player within Korea he's just super awesome like when you when you think Zerg players um, at least uh, at least last month uh, it's kind of changing now but when you thought Zerg Korean Zerg players you always thought like Losira, Nesti and um, well, I think Lenok yeah Lenok was yeah and Lenok as well you always thought just like these three mega powerhouses oh I just hit my mic sorry uh, these three mega Zerg powerhouses, which was Nesti, Lasira, and Lenok. So, and we actually have quite a bit of new Zerg players emerging within the GSL. If you watch the GSL, I, I mainly watch GSTL because I love team games uh, a lot. Uh, team matchups, team matches. But if you have been watching GSL or GSTL, you do see that there's a quite a bit of new, really good Zerg players emerging, as well as Terran players, uh, especially with Maru Prime, who's, talk about freaking crazy, this kid is awesome. Maru Prime, 15 years old, and you know what? He is in Code S. That's right. Oh, man. You don't get, uh, you don't get much better than, no, he's, he's 14. He's 15 Korean age, 14. And then you have Creator Prime as well, who's uh, 15 years old, and he's Code A. Uh, he's a Protoss player. And, of course, Lenok and uh, Gumio, all very young players. So it's amazing to see that, you know, when StarCraft II started, it was just a couple Brood players, Broodlord players. And it seems like uh, Lucier is going to be going for that uh, extractor, um, what is it? that extractor uh, steal again, or the, the, uh, the gas steal. Uh, here we see in the vision, he's going to be able, he's going to be seeing that command center. So... He knows that there's indeed going to be some sort of early expansion coming up here from Marine King. Of course, Metalopolis being cycled out of um, from the tournament map pool. As I was saying, though, at the beginning of StarCraft 2, it was mainly like a handful of Brood War players, most notably uh, foreigners, that made the switch to StarCraft 2. A lot of European and NA players, and not as much Korean players. But then um, you got players who, you know, couldn't get to the level they wanted to be in Brood War, so they started playing StarCraft 2. Marine King is an example of that. He was a he was in he was a pro Brood War player. I, I I'd rather say amateur. He was on a team and all. But uh, you know he wasn't that great in Brood War. And when he switched to StarCraft 2, he was known as Boxer when he came into StarCraft 2 and uh, that's because you know his hero is Boxer, Slayer's Boxer and you know which Terran player would what Terran player wouldn't appreciate Boxer. Looks like that extractor is finally down. So you see these um, kind of unknown Brood War players in Korea. They went to StarCraft 2, and that was like at the beginning of um, that was the beginning of really StarCraft 2 um, esports career. And whoa, we have a third command center here going down from Marine King. He is playing super greedy. I suppose uh, after watching after um, playing last game, he's probably thinking, "Hey man, all I need to do is put tanks in front of you, and you's gonna cry." So. <laughs> I have no idea why he talks like that. But we do have a reactor Hellion coming up here, so wow, man, this is crazy. The bunker being built as well. But uh, now, though, that uh, these older players, who um, these like older players like Marine King, of course, he's not that old. He's like 22 or something. They um, they are, you know, they're figuring out StarCraft too. But the thing is, like, I feel that there's a lot of players like Puma and uh, Marine King, Nada especially, and Boxer, who they, they go into StarCraft 2 with kind of a, a Brood War mentality. Marine King and Puma, I would say less so than Boxer and Nada, because, you know, Boxer and Nada were really big, um, were really huge uh, Brood War players. But Marine King and Puma, they were, you know, they were like B-teamers. They were used to practice against so now that we see that these new kids like Maru and Creator and Lenok, you know, they're coming in, they they don't have Brood War 
background. Of course, they probably played it when they were little, but they professionally they've never played Brood War. So they're coming into StarCraft II with the mentality of StarCraft II, not the mentality of Brood War, which I think is uh, a problem for a lot of those big players like Nesty, Nada, and Boxer. But you know, of course, Nesty. Hard to say that he's got a problem when he has that many GSL titles. So as we can see here, the Reactor Hellions are out there just going around. Uh, making sure that they are cleaning up any map control here from Lucira. The creep spread getting un going underway for Lucira, and man, I just he always has two queens spreading creeps. So talk about freaking crazy! I think he's the only player. Uh, yeah, he's probably the only player I have seen at least who does who uses two queens for creep spread. Uh, Seal, of course, known uh, NS also Seal, known for his massive creep spread, and um, uh, his, his just amazing creep spread. But I don't think he uses two queens. I can't remember watching a game with... Uh, I can't remember the last games I watched of him play if he had two queens or not. The macro hatchet here coming down for Lucere. He loves doing that. Um, and it looks like that tumor was almost about to die. Three away, uh, getting burned. Of course, I don't know why when it burns it bleeds. Well, I mean, I can think of why. You know, like when you burn it, the skin becomes crusted and then it cracks and all that stuff. And two more Hellions being added on. How many Hellions do we have here for Marine King? Eight. Hellion so far. We don't have a blue flame coming up, but this might be scaring Lucira into thinking that he's going to be going for some sort of blue flame build because, you know, when you see this amount of Hellions, you, you usually do, you usually see it uh, brought up with blue flame. So, going to be doing some even more creep sweep there. Jeez. Lucira's like, dude, I just got this all spread. Don't, don't. This is like art. And the Lings are going to come in here. going to try and see if they can get us around on the Hellions. Going to be able to isolate to at least one by the looks of it. Uh, takes out quite a bit of uh, not that much, only three. Of course, I, I am uh, determining that through the charred burnings I see on <laughs> amongst the ground. Level 1 carapace only, no melee this game. And we have centrifugal hooks coming up here. Burrow is on its way as well, so we might be seeing some bailing landmines, which would be freaking awesome. They'd easily take down those hellions. Uh, we, we saw a couple burrowed uh, bailings in... The first game, yeah, on Antigua Shipyard, I was just trying to think, when was that? Oh yeah, that was in uh, that was on the platform when Marine King was uh, pushing forward. We have a Spire here coming up for Lucira, so it looks like he's not going to be going for that Ling and Fester build. He's going to be going for the classic Ling Baneling Mutalisk, which, oh man, I do not like that at all. And a bunch of Ling's coming in here, uh, but they're going to instantly go back just because they want to make sure that they don't lose too many. How many... Uh, how many SCVs is he going to be able to take out there? It looks like he only took out one SCV. He's very impressive. There's still a single ling in there. He's like, come on, die, die, die. He's on hold position while attacking. Then he's going to get surrounded by the SCVs and uh, taken out. The third is going to go down for Marine King. Uh, there's a burrowed uh, ling right there. I don't know if it's... In, yeah, it's in the way because it's the grid system. So, lings are just everywhere on the map. You know, what's interesting about Hellions is because they're really fast and they do a lot of damage. Like, sometimes they can... Sometimes I kind of think of it like they can be the Lings of Terran. They're a lot more expensive and they do a lot more damage and they have an AoE, but uh, they can be like the Lings of Terran because they're so fast and they're easily maneuverable, things like that. They can, you know, easily go through, a, they can easily just get through, a, they can easily take map control is what I'm trying to say. Of course, we have a massive drop over here. Two um, medevacs coming in here. Doesn't look like Marine King is going to be able to kill any drones by the looks of it. Almost taking out um, a... Um, what do you call those things? An extractor. Why am I going? Eh, uh, mm -mm -mm. Yes, he didn't even take out a single drone, so not exactly effective. Uh, not exactly effective drop there from Marine King. What did he see? However, he saw that there was indeed layer tech, and the third is under attack as well. Man, why did I not click on the map? Oh, that was just a single ling going in. These lings just, man, they're being everywhere. We have uh, level one melee on its way, as well as level one flyer attack. And uh, how many mutas just hatched? We have uh, a murder of uh, 11 mutas, a murder of mutas, as I like to call them, because why do you call them a flock? It just, that doesn't sound like mutas. Now the mutas are going to be revealed, and uh, Marine King, he is not putting any turrets down over here. Well, he does already have a turret down, uh, two turrets, actually. So, um, Lucia is going to get out of there. He doesn't want to, you know, risk even hurting his uh, his mutas. And one thing I wish we could do about you could do about mutas in StarCraft too that you could do in Brood War is that awesome muta micro where it's just pretty much one mutalist and uh, you could do crazy damage with it. But then again, you know, one shot from a Thor would kill like twenty freaking mutalists. So spreads are actually good uh, against mutalists against AOE units. That is actually I think Goliath did AOE. So oh, I can't remember. I'd have to check that out. Uh, if anyone who knows about Brood War units 
could tell me if Goliath did uh, splash damage with their uh, air attacks, please, please inform me. We have a spine crawler coming up over here, and he's go that's just going to be going down, of course, to deny drops. And I'm really sorry. I feel like I'm not casting um, to my best right now. We have some lings doing a run by over here. Going to be able, going to try and take out that uh, bunker, but unfortunately there was a repair on it. Burrowing a single ling under the ground. I actually, I don't even know if that was burrowed or not. Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't see that SCV there. I only saw Marines. I'm like, uh, Marine, Marine King. Come on, come on, you gotta repair that bunker before it burns down. Uh, save the marines inside of them, they do not want to die. Uh, the creep spread here coming really well for Losiri. He's gonna be able to do a really nice creep highway there. We don't have any burrowed bailings by the looks of things, uh, but the Mutalus here coming in, try, gonna pick off a missile turret by the looks of it. And just trying to see if there's any burrowed bailings on the map. You know, see, that's interesting. He has centrifugal hooks, but he doesn't have a single bailing. Well, he does have six on the way. But yeah, he doesn't have a single bailing, and he has 21 mulus, which is quite impressive. And uh, level one flyer's carapace, as well as level two melee, is coming up here. And more mutas as well. Um, sensory tower being built right there. I like that a lot from Marine King because he's going to be able to, you know, know when and where those mutas are coming from unless, you know, he goes with the third. But speaking of the third, there is a bailing uh, run by right there. Going to be able to take out uh, 18 SCVs by the looks of things. So great job there from Lucira. Sorry, right, I missed that. I was paying too much attention to these mutas because they're very pretty. No, they're not. They're disgustingly ugly. Level three weapons here coming up for Marine King and three more mutas being added as well as links. Uh, we have the fourth here coming up from Lucira. I uh, won't be surprised to see a fifth like in the middle or over here. The the problem with taking a fifth in um, Metalopolis is that you are the problem with taking this middle is that you get a siege tank here, you have vision, and you can siege up the like this half of the mineral line. So that makes it very annoying to do. And we have Marine King here, going to do a nice little push. He's got uh, seven tanks with this push and quite a bit of Marines. But we also have Lucira saying, "Yeah, you're not going to do that. I think I'm going to go over here." So yeah, no, I'll flank. He's going to leave these in here for the third. As we look in, uh, 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 oh, uh, okay, that wasn't impressive. So here we have the siege, the tanks. They're sieging up. They're just going to start, you know, getting nice and spread. He's going to have some marines in the back to repel either mutalisks or lings. And we have the engagement here coming forward. These mutalisks are trying to find that nice position. Bailings go off on a couple of these uh, marines there. I don't think those were burrowed. Um, I sure hope they weren't. And the mutalisks coming in here, going to be able to snipe off that tank and medevac as well and you know there's not that much marines so it's come to the point where uh Lucier doesn't even care if he put flies his mutilus over marines because there's just not that much and here's the flanking coming up here they're gonna take out a handful of marines as well as some reinforcements but not that much mainly because there was, was this tank there i think he was in range and now we have the mutilus trying to pick off some tanks and now we have the links coming in from the front here bailings coming in everywhere they're gonna be able to clean up everything and the bailings go off on all the marines going to be cleaning up everything with those mutas and now marine king is left without any marines he is a king without a kingdom right now how is he going to respond to that he's making 12 uh he's actually making 12 marines right now so he already has 20 so you know not that huge of a deal for him apparently and we have a double drop here coming in into the main of Lucira from Marine King. And he's going to try and snipe that queen or a hatchery by the looks of it. But no, the Lings and Mutas coming in. Going to be able to clean up quite easily. And Marine King, he is starting to get a fourth right there. If we look at the amount of workers killed, 24 killed. I don't know if there was a run by over here. There possibly was, aside from the one that I already watched. And it was super boring. Not much happened. And, uh, yeah, Marine King just doing a three tank push with some Marines there, making 13 Marines at a time, level three armor coming up. So these Marines are going to not die too easily. And the Lings coming in here, they are just going to say they don't care. They are going in for those tanks and getting the greats around. They're going to be able to clean up everything, even the medevacs. And, oh man, this isn't looking good for Marine King. Of course, you never want to count him out because he's a really good player and he's very persistent is the thing. I've seen him win games that shouldn't have been won. The tank's going to be sieging up back there. Make sure he doesn't get those surrounds. He wants to make sure he's nice and safe. If we check out the income for these players, we have 89 drones to 58 SCVs. And uh, as you can see here, it definitely shows with Lucira just streaming far ahead in those... Um, in that income and mineral collection rate. Some wings over here just going to be ready to take out, uh, do a run by on that third again. More and more mutalisks being added. Uh, two tanks, two medevacs, 13 marines is the production. These wings are actually going to be uh, chased down by the marines, seeing that, yeah, I know what you're going to do. I've kind of caught on to the fact that you do like that sort of do run bys on that third. And these uh, wings going to try and do a run by again, going to go for the surround, but no, they just realized there are too many marines there. There was engagement up here, which resulted in uh, two tanks dying and 
uh, in, which resulted in two tanks dying and uh, Lucira backing up here, which I have with, I believe, Metalisks. And now those third, that third, gonna get a huge run by now. Uh, the SCV is trying to, the SCV is trying to, uh, you know, use that mineral lock, and then a scan's gonna go down and take those wings out. Killed only three uh, SCVs, and uh, gonna be aiming now for the tech lab. I'm surprised an armory hasn't gone up to get a Thor out at all. This is very surprising, because you know, kind of at this point when there's gonna be this amount of marine or this amount of mutilus, you're gonna want marine, you're gonna want those Thors for that splash damage and. Here we see that the Lings are coming in, trying to get us around, but no, unfortunately not going to be able to. The Mule is coming in. Uh, oh man, nice bailing explosion going off, taking out about five Marines, I think. And then we have a push from Marine King over here, going to do some creep sweep by the looks of it. He's like, yeah, this creep is, uh, this creep's gross. I, I don't like it. We're going to destroy it. And Burrow Bailing's being taken out right there. Um, I hope I didn't miss any awesome, like, Burrow Bailing action. I'd feel so bad if I did. Because Burrow Bailing's just so freaking awesome. And now, Reeking scouting that fifth right there. Gonna try to see if he can focus it down, but no, he's not gonna be able to. That medevac, she was like, well, I could pick you up, but I don't feel like it. 2-2, uh, two, two, uh, Carapace for flying and ground on their way. And these tanks sieging up there just in the nick of time. And the Balins are coming down. They're gonna be able to get a nice, oh man, nice Balin detonation going off right there. But uh, it's just Marines versus Mutas right now, and that's not exactly good for the Mutas, mainly because these Marines are 3-3, and they do quite a bit of damage if we look. They do 9 damage with uh, a huge DPS, and the Balin's coming in here. Gonna try and get us those links. Nice Balin detonation there going off on those Marines. Uh, bad de de Balin detonation going off on that SCV. And uh, now we have... Oh, all these Marines are actually gonna get cleaned up fairly nicely. I thought that was a uh, turret, but no, it was actually a sensor tower. Pay attention to the uh, production tab there, eh, Nerdcraft? And the fourth now being established, or has been established for Marine King. Uh, just overlords doing a Congo line right here. They are very much enjoying it. Da 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 da. Hey, da 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 da. Hey, we are overlords. Hey, we do absolutely nothing uh, unless upgraded. And we have the more and more mutilists. You know what they have in their sights right now? They have a delicious little fourth right here that's completely undefended and going to be completely destroyed. But of course, Marine King with that uh, tower control going to be able to see that those mutilists were coming in. And oh man, two, three, four. Oh, four mutilists going down in that. Not good at all for Lysir. We have Hive going down and uh, look at that, Burrow Bailey. And the Lings and Mews just everywhere on this map. A couple Balings as well. I noticed Lucier doesn't make as much Balings as other players have been known to do. So he only has 15 right now. And here we have the Lings coming in. The uh, Balings in the background. Don't know if they're going to be able to get a detonation off on this. Of course, you can't really A-click at uh, A-click uh, Balings just because they they have this tendency of all going off on one Marine, and that really sucks. So you have to control the detonations, and here we have three tanks and a handful of marines coming up over here with a single medevac. Going to try and see if they can take out this fourth and the fifth. The marines going in. Oh man, going to start uh, cleaning up these drones fairly nicely. Uh, that Milus was born into a very violent world, as you can see. Uh, those marines over there were cleaned up. And how many? Well, he got seven. Congratulations, you got seven. Uh, Balin's gonna clean everything up. It's so pretty to watch Balin's kill things. Well, that's, wow, that's sick minded. Not exactly pretty, but it's really cool to see. I'm a Terran player, so it's very freaking scary for me. And uh, the Marines over here with another tank. Looks like they're gonna go to that fourth. Their uh, Marine King is sensing that those Mulas are gonna be going for the fourth. Um, wanting to establish a uh, our command center over here. It looks like no, the Marines aren't actually going to the fourth. So the Mulas are going to be able to have free reign over here. That uh, Those two Mulas there, three Mulas that are being caught by the Zelnaga Tower are going to tell Marine King that indeed there's Mulas coming in over here and they're just going to be repelled quite easily. Don't even think he lost a single... I uh, don't even think he lost a single SCV in that engagement. And now we have a nice little Muta Micro coming up here. Actually, yeah, he, did, he was able to kill five uh, SCVs in that engagement and even more over here. Ooh, man, Ugh, that's scary. We have some medevacs and tanks over here on the creep. Uh, this this tank. I, I wonder if like tanks like get gooped up on the tracks get gooped up and stuff like that. And here, oh, this is actually a bad miss rally right there for Marine King. They're going to get surrounded and clean up quite easily. A lot of Balin's coming in there, but the Marines are going to be able to focus them down and uh, takes out goes off on all these. But you know, it takes two Mutalists, two Balin's to take out that um, those SCVs mainly because of the armor that they have. Uh, a Crucker's on the way as well as the Greater Spire. So those Blue Lords are going to be coming up. And man, this game is so just back and forth. This is a complete slugfest right now. I have no idea how these players are able to do stuff like this. It's so amazing. Of course, my games are kind of like, you know, one engagement done. 
But uh, a single Infestor coming up as well as 12 Marines for Marine King. And the Infestor, of course, is coming up for Lucira. Uh, shooting something over there, but I missed what it was. I was assuming it was a Ling by the sound of its death. Oh, actually, holy crap. That's what it was. There was a huge run by in the third here. Burrowing some bailing or burrowing some links. This is kind of gonna um, trick Marine King into thinking, okay, everything's gone now. So these will burrow. Uh, these will unburrow and take out those um, SCVs a third. But here we have an engagement over here. Bailing's going off on a lot of Marines. Great spread there from Marine King, but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna be able to uh, take out a majority of those Marines. And six Broodlords are on the way. Would have been seven, but that Corruptor was a fool. Uh, these. No, he's uh, still not doing it, and I like this two-prong attack here coming up from Marine King. By the looks of it, he lost uh, quite a bit of Marines, and there was also some Lings lost in that engagement as well. Mulisk and Marines and Balins coming, trying to clean up these Marines as the uh, tanks get ready to siege up over there. Uh, no, they are going to fall back. Come on, Zerglings. There we go. That's what I was waiting for, but it didn't matter because there was a bunker. And these Lings are actually going to try and take out the production, aiming for those... Uh, uh, reactors and the wings coming in here gonna try and see if they can pick off some of those mules or SCVs and uh, That single overlord there is actually out of range interestingly enough the broodlords have finished up Where are they? Where are you broodlords? There they are now what they're gonna do is they're gonna go right in this middle uh, Ground right here, and they're going to just uh, siege up this expansion and Marine King has seen them with his Elnaga towers But he's not making any Vikings. He's not gonna be able to really repel these with the Marines, mainly because they're going to be out of range. There's only a single Corruptor, so two Mar two Vikings will be able to handle this quite nicely. And now the Broodlord is going to start sieging up this bit of Marine King. Going to be able to take out quite a bit of SCVs. Drop over here, going to be denied. Uh, nothing killed yet, but it's denied. There are two Vikings on the field. Actually, my mistake. And five Balins on the way. Two more Vikings are on their way as well. I don't even want to dare look. Oh, God, that's a lot. Uh, Mulus here going to clean up this fourth here. Looks like Marine King is kind of just falling apart right now. I mean, he's like, you know... Marine King's known for being everywhere in a map, on a map, but, you know, Lucira just completely outplayed him when it comes to this uh, kind of things. Great positioning there for Marine King. Going to be able to not get us around at all. Uh, two links trying to get get us around on the back there. And we have a nice bio uh, biomech composition here coming up from Marine King. What I mean by biomech is that uh, it's Marines, tanks, Vikings, things like that. I, I, meant to, I meant to mention it earlier but I kind of forgot because the action got pretty much going in this game and this is actually pretty reminiscent of a brood war um of a brood war match oh, I accidentally kicked my mic stand my bad this is yeah a brood war match mainly because you, you know you got the guardians and you got the mutalisks and then uh, well actually no never mind because the mutalisks you don't have mutalisks when you get up to those guardians because mutalisks morph into guardians um man so we have the orbital over here. Uh, Marine King's almost completely mined out here. He's only, actually he has absolutely no income right now. He only has 23 SCVs. And this is actually huge because Marine King's production, he just can't keep up. It's 129 to 200. He's not going to be able to keep up. He had a lot of minerals banked, but now he's only down to 23. So he's not going to be able to really, you know, keep up with this uh, mining. Of course, he's trying to mine over here. The uh, SCVs, uh, there's just been so many SCVs killed. He has the same, okay, now he's starting to get down. He doesn't have any energy for a crackling upgrade coming up here for Lucir, as well as two more Corruptors and four more Bailings. He's also getting another hatch, uh, reestablishing it right over here. And the meal is going to come in here. Going to take out the oh-so-few and very precious um, SCVs of Marine King. And there's a lot of Vikings on this map, but usually Vikings don't exactly handle Mutalus that well because Vikings don't have splash damage. And wow, that's a really big tower right there. What is that? Uh, don't mind that actually because there's engagement over here the Vikings trying to pick out some of these mules Where are the broodlords? Were they all taken out? Um, no, they're just sitting back here. They're chilling out max and relaxing. They're leaving all the work to the mules I think this is just kind of you know killing off these mules slowly so that way he can make more room for more corruptors and broodlords So that way he has that anti-air and he has that that just critical amount of Broodlords that's needed, but we have Lucira going for a massive run by right here. This game is just completely crazy. It's gonna have to go down as one of those awesome games I've seen. And here's the massive engagement here. Sieging go siege going up there, but huge fungus gonna kill off the majority of these Marines. And now the Broodlords will reign supreme over this over these tanks. This is not looking good for Marine King at all. Um 11 Marines are on the way, and GG Lucira takes game number two in a crazy, crazy matchup. I mean, it almost looked like, you know, it looked, the entire game after the, the, those first few engagements and stuff, it was like Marine King was, um, uh, how do you say it? Marine King was, uh, you know, he, he was in there, but he wasn't, you know, just getting that lead. He was just, he was kind of playing from behind, just so small behinds though because he, he would do those drops. They'd just be cleaned up so instantly and all that stuff. He wasn't able to get any 
very little drone kills. We see only nine drones have, were killed to the 64 SCVs of Lysira. So that's just, oh man, it was so awesome because Marine King, you know, he's known for being, you know, he's known for hanging in there. He's known for kind of just sitting in there and uh, waiting for that opportune moment. But he, he kept doing it and kept doing it. But everything, Lysira was on top of it all. So, holy crap. Talk about an awesome freaking game. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this game as much as I enjoyed casting, which I definitely did, this goes down to one of the best games I've ever casted, um, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out quite a bit. You know, keeps me going. And also you can follow me... Um, actually, nowhere. You can follow me on YouTube. My YouTube is youtube.com forward slash nerdcraftftw. There you go. I was going to do it with a Twitter plug, but I don't do that until the third game. So... Uh, stick around for game number three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Game three is most likely going to be as crazy as this. Stick around for that. That's um, My name is Nerdcraft. I'll see you guys then.